All right, Jose Rodriguez back again. As I promised you, I'm going to show you how to fill a cartridge for the 9500 Mark II or the Pro 10. This is a PGI 9. We'll also be talking about the PGI 72, and the two are analogs to each other. Now, what in the heck is this thing I have here? Well, this is one of the original clips. I went ahead and I basically punched a little tiny hole. I took a stubby needle and I cut off with a little disc cutter for a Dremel tool and I made it into like an eighth of an inch long stubby needle. And I inserted it into the hole and I used epoxy or crazy glue to keep it in place. Now it's very difficult to glue to this type of plastic here. So you gotta put on a good amount of that epoxy in order to keep it nice and snug. But this adapter you can actually buy already made from octoinkjet.co.uk. It's from you know England. It'll get to you in the US if you need one or make your own. It takes about a week and a half for it to get here, but make your own and you'll be ready to go. I just got a little ink on me. Anyway, so here is a cartridge that is empty. Now, what you wanna make sure that you have when you get your empty carts, if you look inside, I don't know if you can see very clearly, there is a metal diaphragm, okay? This has been flushed once already, so the metal diaphragm is quite visible. It's made out of aluminum, I believe, or some other type of shiny silver-like metal, and it's collapsed all the way to the other side. That means that the bag inside, which is shaped like an accordion, is now collapsed. Sometimes it will not be collapsed, and you gotta make sure that you take care of that. Okay, so what you will need to do in a case like this, if the bag is not collapsed, is to take another syringe, screw it in, and simply pull back. That will collapse the bag. As you saw, I drew a little bit of water out of that. Collapse the bag first, or, or, if you have a 30 ml syringe, okay? That's the best one to use for refilling this type of ink cart. Load it with 15 ml of ink. That way you have 15 ml worth of space left, 15, 16. Insert it into your non-collapsed cartridge. Pull back until you cannot pull back anymore. That way you have collapsed the bag, you have sucked out all of the air, and insert your ink. Two, three, four, five done you are done insert it back into the printer that is all there is to it how about if you want to flush a cartridge pull out anything that's in there okay i cannot go back anymore i've collapsed the bag completely go over your sink empty that out fresh water inkjet pull back throw out fresh water inkjet pull back, throw out fresh water, and so on until the cartridge is flowing clean water. That way the cart is now completely flush. If you try to fill this using the drip method, you may have a problem, especially if the bag is not fully collapsed. So by using the syringe method and this adapter, you can pull back, make sure you collapsed a partially empty or full bag, get it to that is collapsed, and inject the ink, just as quick as that. And remove it, weigh it. If it weighs, I don't know, 31 grams, you can dribble a bit of ink in there manually until it hits about 32, 32 and a half, 33. 33 sometimes is a bit too much, but 32 is perfectly safe and actually will work. If you squeeze the sides, you will see water. In case I just dripped it out, but you won't, you will not press that hard. You just want to make sure that ink is coming, causing a little bit of a flood puddle on the sponge. That means that it is almost full. That's another way to ensure that your cartridge is full. So make yourself one of these. You will need to sacrifice one of your caps. I have a few of these available for me to use. You'll have to come up with your own to be able to do an adapter like this. But say you gotta fill 10 cartridges at a time. I tell you, this is so fast. You can preload a bunch of syringes with 15, 16 ml of ink, pull back, collapse the bag. That's why you need a 30 ml syringe. You need a 30 ml syringe so that you can pull back, if need be, 15 to 16 ml worth of air. 
and collapse that back. Then you will end up with a syringe that is extended all the way out with 15, 16, 17 ml. It, it varies, okay? You can put in 16 ml for sure. You're gonna push it in. Don't inject air in there, just ink. Then you could either pull it out like this or unclip it off of the cart itself and then put the original clip back on it and you're good to go. So that is it. Took longer to explain than to actually perform the operation, but this is the way you mass fill protein cartridges. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that with use, this is very difficult to see, okay? Notice where the opening is. That means that all of the wetness will be concentrated in the center portion of the sponge. You may want to do this, squeeze, and make sure that you get ink all across that oval-shaped sponge. You don't want the periphery of that sponge, exit sponge, to ever, ever begin to dry a little bit. You want to keep that fully saturated, and that is a secret to good ink flow from these types of cartridges. But again, for refilling mass sets of these uh, types of carts, nothing works better than this. So keep that in mind. Make one of these for yourself and you will not regret it. I still use my dribble method, don't get me wrong. But if I am to do 20 carts, I will use this other method. It just really cuts down the time tremendously. Even if I use the same syringe, it still cuts back the time. Now, for your normal top off of a cart, say you only need, I don't know, 20% of ink to be put in, for whatever the reason you wanted to reset it and top it off, I would use a bottle with a little needle attached to it, squeezy bottle, and just dribble, dribble, dribble until I reach the point where it weighs 32 grams. And that is it. Simple, clean. I got more ink on my hand before I started than during the actual process. So it is a very neat process. So I always recommend you go to an area you don't mind getting dirty, like a utility sink or something similar to that. All right, that is it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing. Drink your coffee from one of my mugs, please. Yes, it tastes so much better, I tell you. Mm. You also feel so good when you're wearing one of these. Go to my site, order something. Bye-bye.